Okay, we're almost done with this uh, thing here. So we have, um, I answered this incorrectly because I didn't know any better and obviously I did not pay much attention to what's actually happening because it seemed like gibberish. But here we're gonna understand that Boolean value is a sign in these parentheses. See, in these parentheses, we have characters. We have two and three, which gets converted to either truth or false. And that is purely based on the content of what's in the bracket and uh, parentheses. So if, as long as we have something here in parentheses, and it's not delimited by single quotes, we're gonna have the truth, which is one, which is yes. Yes, truth, one, okay? And Boolean means yes equals one, true equals one, nothing equals false, zero equals false. So we're gonna look for the, um, what do they call the statement? What do they call the impression, expression, which has nothing in parentheses, and nothing. I don't. I, I don't mean by like a dark matter in cosmology, but we're talking about like because when you describe nothing, you look like a fool or like idiot because you cannot describe nothing. If you're starting to describe nothing, you're really describing something. So something cannot be nothing. But here in Python, we're gonna call this nothing, meaning like you can squeeze anything between the single quote, like here in Y, in case number three, you can squeeze a space bar, which is an ASCII character to the computer. So computer can actually read this as something. And that will, that will give us either one or true. So in Boolean, so Y is true, W has 23 true, Z has uh, false and the brackets. So obviously it has true. The only thing that doesn't have anything is X. And that's how I learned it. I'm not gonna go through explanation here because it, it, this thing was confusing to me. That's why I, um, that's why I decided to uh, just to, uh, you know, just to go with my own explanation for myself and you guys can uh, hear I'm gonna show this to you please be my guest you can read this all you want I'm not looking I'm not looking I'm not looking I just want this thing to just be obvious to me that if it's nothing it's false if it's something it's true boom there you go and nothing means you have no characters ASCII characters in between these quote, um, single quotes, period. Let's move on to the next one. And here we have um, we have operate uh, operators. Uh, what value will be assigned to x variable? Okay, that's good. So the x is based on y and z. This is the logic. We have two ends. This is also boolean. <coughs> and uh, operators. Bo um, I had to learn this uh, 27 years ago, <clears throat> Boolean algebra, like you have and, or, nor, and or, <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. So we're looking at, uh, forget about x for now. So we're looking about this, 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 and this. And we have a condition. So, I'm gonna break it down right now. If if uh, <clears throat> y less than z, is it? No, it's not. Three is not. So this thing is. Uh, oh, it's just. Oh, why don't we do this? I can I can uh, do better than this we'll just dump it in here and we'll just um, we'll just go from there um, so we have this um, is Z 
bigger than 7? No. So let's put 0 in here. I'm going to do it my way, how I understand it. If I make a mistake, then you be the judge of that. Then we're going to... So we have and. And. And uh, Z bigger than Y. Is it true that Z is bigger than Y? No, it's not true. So we're going to put 0 in here. And we're going to put or. Y is bigger than Z, which is yes. And Z is smaller than Y, which is yes. So we have now, we have this expression here. 0 and 0 and 1 and 1. This one will give us, let's be honest about this. 0 and 0 is going to give us 0, right? Or 1. Because 1 and 1 equals 1. So we have now this one. It's a brain washing machine here. So I'm going to see if I'm right this time. Because I got it wrong on the test. Because I didn't think like this. I didn't just take time. I was like, oh, I'm time restrained. You know, there's time, 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 time. So I didn't really understand what this really means. At first, I thought that they want us to do the value of this, like Z and Z, because they have like a more or less and less than and less than and more or less signs. I thought they were brackets, and I thought they just make X equals to Y. This is not it. They're using the whole expression to justify X based on 3 and 7. That's why they were giving it to us in the first place. So by using that, we're going to do the logic as we do right here and right here. So what does or mean? That means I have to remember this, but just let's just do this. Either 0 or 1, it has to be something. And what is it going to be? And let's cheat and look it up. True. That means 0 or 1, it becomes one okay so this is what i didn't remember just now and i just looked it up because i already have correct answer so i'm going to remember that if we have zero or one so zero becomes one it's like negative number if you have negative and positive negative wins i guess that's how I'm going to remember for myself. And I don't know if I should go to explanation. Let's go to explanation just to, um, just to um, kind of, just to justify. Greater than operator, less than operator, log logical and operators, logical operators, blah, 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 blah. And here that's what they say true. It's, it's pretty much the same thing as here. So, um, um, false, uh, we have here, we have false, we have true, um, let's be consistent, true, and we have here, we have true, so basically speaking, We have here 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 right did I align it right <laughs> okay so and we got here do this because they just gave me an idea okay I'm gonna replace this with this okay so 
that's our answer. True, one. And what was this just verified here? The two comparison operators have the greatest procedure. So, um, greater than and less than operators have higher precedence. Uh, this is very, actually, this one I'm going to remember because there is a question in the test that and operator has pre bigger precedence. And if we like look at the hierarchy of presidency, I think it's going to be these two become top, top presidency. This one becomes next. And, and then we have or, nor, and uh, whatever other operators are. So let's keep that in mind. So from what they're saying that less than um, these two become top priority on the um, in the equation like this so that's what they're saying so I'm going to go with that and let's move on to the next question which is number 48 I answered this one correctly for some reason either I guessed it right or um, I had enough coffee or I don't know I just know that I got it right. So x equals true or 1, y equals false, and z equals false. If not x or y, not it's like a negation of x or y. So if we were to uh, If we were to do this, uh, we could write it in this notation, x or y. It's like this. So basically this becomes this. Why? Because not x or y so x or y so this one is going to give us unless these two are ones and these two are zeros we're going to have either one or zero here we're going to either have one or zero i i i, I talk in the terms of ones and zeros because it's easier for me to understand that because uh, my brain is uh, pretty slow and for me to convert true to false hell with it i'm not doing it I'm just doing ones and zeros. And once I get the result, I'm going to convert it to truth or false because one is true and zero is false. Too many letters for my brain, okay? I just don't want it, okay? So we have, let's just copy this thing here and let's just, let's just do this right here, okay? So we have it. If not x or y, so we got if not not x x we have true or y is zero, right? print one 
So if this condition is met, we're going to print one. So equals one. Okay. What the hell am I doing here? So basically, we're going to interpret this into this, and we're going to set it right here. We're going to set it aside, okay? And then we're going to follow. So we print one here, else if. All it is to me is just we have logic here in within Python, and then on the top of that, we have all this nonsense that we have to resolve. So let's say we have, uh, in this condition, let's say we have not x or y which is the same thing as here I'm just gonna like my professor says super lazy uh, equals to 2 we're gonna do print 2 and and check this out this is just part of this it does not include this logic here if else if else if and else and we have all this on the top of that so this is pure like it's like just playing with numbers okay so here we have another condition if this we print one if this we print two or not x or not uh, first of all I am not finished this here okay so let's just interpret this into uh, um, our own thing so we got Z we have 0 we have Y we have false we have 0 and we have or not we're going to convert this to exclamation or we're going to convert to these x we're going to convert to one and we're going to convert this to not and here what we have okay we have this one here and this one here okay and we have not okay we have not and what am i doing we got this one, not x or not y, and, and we have not y, <laughs> and Z are we did I get it right not X or not Y and and or not y and z now let's go through this here stuff and here we have not x I think it's like this 
not x or not y or not y because this comes together and not x or not y not x or not y and z so we just do this yeah i put this is like you know what this is confusing not x or not y not x or not y <laughs> and we're gonna get to this later so and then we're printing two in this situation how about it how about it okay not x or not y or not not x or y <laughs> let's copy this in here and uh, exercise or <laughs> not x or y and x and all that equals to three <laughs> i will never ever 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 be able to pass this test <laughs> because it's gonna take me they only give you like an hour for like 57 questions so technically it's just like little little tiny a little bit over one minute you have for one so to write it all to write this all like this it's gonna take me way more than minutes. I, I don't know if I'm gonna pass it. I have to practice. Else print four. So if none of these conditions, if none of these conditions right here are met, we're going to print four. So the four is being printed uh, if none of these conditions are met. So, and then, we have not x or y not x or y we have not x or y not x or y close parentheses so this is what we have. Um, let's think about it here. We have one or zero. So technically that gives us one. Okay. Let's not use equal here because that's confusing. Let's use uh, print. Okay. Let's use print here because this is our ultimate output and we're going to we're going to distinctly justify that and um, we're going to justify this here and uh, explain. So here we have we know that either one gives us one, okay? So we have one here one and this not makes it a zero okay so we have why don't i just uh redo this whole thing copy and paste it all the way here we're going to just change it to zero so we have basically if Let's just, just change this whole thing to zero. If zero, we print one. What about here? 
So we basically have this one we're going to do first, not we're going to do first because that comes with priority. So we're going to have this to zero and we're going to have this to one and this will become still become one. Did I get it right? Yeah, this one has not before. That's why it became zero. Okay. So um, this one becomes one and zero. And uh, what did I say before? If we have one and if we have zero, what do we have? We have one because one. So we have one, we print two. Okay, get that? Okay. This one becomes zero, this one becomes zero, zero or oh, zero becomes zero. Get rid of the parentheses. Zero and one becomes one. Okay. else we print four so here one or zero becomes one it becomes becomes zero so this statement here this line here code doesn't make any difference and if we take this code and plug it into the Python and run it and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see. Well, it does print three. Okay. So I guess I did use compiler probably to answer this correctly because I was not ready for all this. <laughs> so let's just confirm that what python does here printing three and obviously what they imply by giving us this correct answer let's just walk through this again so if zero we print one okay if one we print two if same thing here, we're going to replace this with one, print three, else print four. So what do we have? We go from, we run this code. So this is given, we already calculated that, we don't need that. Zero, print one. Zero, print one. If one, print two. If one print three, so so let's say okay. I, I don't understand the, based on what Python is printing three here. I don't understand. Um, else of one so if we either one if we have zero if we have zero or we have one or if we have one or if we have anything we print zero so how can we have anything okay i get it if we we can't have anything other than zero or one we got to print three because there is no else condition here met. We cannot have like three or four or five in Boolean. This is Boolean. We can only have zero or one. And this if else statements give us nothing but just to print three because everything else from here on is not going to matter. That's how I get it. Okay. So here's the conclusion. So if zero or one so either way we print three 
it doesn't even get to the else statement because there's nothing else okay and let's let's read the their explanation in their perfect english <laughs> okay so false zero zero true and false equals true false print two so they're breaking it down just like i did okay so else if true print three okay explanation there are three operators and work at work three operators there at work of them the not operator has the highest precedence okay i get it followed by the and operator the or operator has the lowest precedence what is this did you understand anything did you understand anything from this i didn't i i, I knew that not has a higher precedence i know that and then and or or as i mentioned here in my little like right here they say and has not well not has what did I write here? We have more or less than we have not. Okay, I forgot this one here. Okay, not has top precedence. Then we have and, or, nor, and so on. But these have top precedence. Then we go not. Oh my God, will I ever understand this? completely probably I don't know after I graduate probably from this whole school which isn't about a year anyway so let's go to the data aggregates again we have a list and we have pop pop at this that means it will yank out that particular index this I know I know this one. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 indexes, right? Starting with a 0, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if we want to yank something pop out of index 1, we're talking about the number 4. So if we yank this out, we get this. So see, 3, 5, 25, 25, 1, 3, 3, 5, 3, 5, 20, 5, 25 1 3 boom that's it this one is easy i'm not going to go through explanation pop removes and returns the element that is given index is by default index name well that's useful information here that uh, if we have uh, a negative one index would be the last character uh last uh, what is it called element last element in the list it will get popped out by default okay so we use this instead of no with no parameters inside or use this index is optional so this one will remove the negative one by default and uh, here index one will remove number four just like i said right there because this is zero this is one Okay, let's move on to the next one. I don't want to waste too much time because I already wasted on the number 47, uh, 48. Too much time. So we have a code here. I have a feeling that we're going to need a Python to, uh, to use this code. And just let's just run it and see. Okay, so it prints two asterisks. I hope I pronounce it right. Can I pronounce it? Two stars. So let's just let's evaluate this. While i less than or equal to three, and by the way, less or equal to it doesn't mean that it assigns this value to it does any it doesn't do anything with this thing and assigns it to i. It just strictly assigns its um uh, it just states that this 
i is less or equal to 3 it could be 0 it could be a negative number it could be just integer uh, of uh, this variable here just less than or equal than 3 inclusive that's all it says so here on the other hand we have different one we have plus equals to that means that i 3 is being plus uh, sum with 2 which is 5 and then 5 will be assigned to i so now as long as so we have 5 and 5 it goes back to this loop here because we initialize it here so it goes like this it goes ding 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 and then goes back here and then it prints so how will it work I if I is zero which meets the criteria here so it move on to this one moves on to this one then it goes while this one is true which it is it moves on to this part of code I plus itself which is zero take all that back don't worry about the three i is not becoming three i i i, I made a mistake so we take the zero plus two and become i so if i this will print two times two stars because the value of i apparently is going to be two let's look what they have to say well, here is the result, right? But uh, here, while this criteria is met, i equals zero, i equals two. Because of this. So it will run it once, and then it's gonna run it again, because The next one is going to become four. Four doesn't fall into this criteria, and therefore, it will be not part of this equation here, right here. So the first iteration of the loop i equals zero. Uh, sec, uh, it becomes two, and the first star is printed. That's what I said. Once it becomes two, because zero plus two, it will print the first star. I becomes four and second star is printed. Why is the second star is printed if it becomes four? I is four, therefore four is false. Oh. So <laughs> this stupid thing which is called computer and Python will have time to print the second star before it gets out of the loop. <laughs> I didn't even think it, I, I didn't even think that way. Well, yeah, okay, okay. So first time it will print because it's zero and second time it will print because it's two. That's it, okay, what am I thinking, right? Because of initial value, we'll print the star, obviously. But then it will run this one, and it will become two. But then, like I, I right, and then it becomes four, and it ends the loop, and it's not going to print anymore. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's do number fifty-one. In uh, no, let's stop the video.